Now, following the news by Chairman of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 and the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Bas Mustafa, that the COVID-19 vaccines are expected to depart India today and arrive in Abuja 11 a.m. tomorrow. Reactions have continued to trail this development as brought to us by Jacinta Abioko. Stay with Ghana received 600,000 doses of AstraZeneca vaccines on Wednesday, February 24, making it the first country to benefit from the COVAX program in Africa. According to Boss Mustafa, Nigeria is next, with the country scheduled to take delivery of 3.92 million doses of AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. As we receive the vaccines, uh, this one is coming from the COVAX facility. Uh, about 4 million uh, doses of vaccines are coming from the COVID facility on this one trip. Uh, we're supposed to have about uh, 16 million in the first quarter from the COVID facility. And uh, expecting by the time they supply all the range, uh, they, uh, we are expecting that they will supply about 84 million doses from the COVID facility, which is free of charge and is supposed to cover about 20% of the Nigerian population. Despite the good news of the first vaccines on the horizon for Nigeria, experts are still reacting to the temperature requirements to distribute them. On the quest for the distribution plan for the rural area, a virologist, Professor Oyewale Tomori, shares his opinion. The way you do it is to look at where do you have the largest number of cases occurring. Well, what you call, which is the hot zone, that would be your best place to, first of all, what you would call your priority area. And then when you get to that, you also have to determine which people are getting that infection in that priority area. Is it health workers? Is it older people? So your data will let you know that, and then you use that as a basis for vaccinating people. Aside from Lagos, is there enough storage laboratories across the states for the vaccines? This is a vaccine that uh, has been shown to have low requirements for storage. I mean, a regular refrigerator is supposed to carry because of the, you know, the technology that the vaccine works on. It shouldn't be too much of a problem if we get our logistics and our strategy right. I think at the end of the day, it's all, it's, I think it will boil down to you know, doing good preparation, really. That's, if, because if we get that right, I don't think 44 million doses for the initial people we're talking about should be a problem. Boss Mustafa also expressed optimism that by the time 40% of the population is vaccinated in 2021 and 30% in 2022, which is a cumulative of 70%, Nigeria will be arriving at herd immunity. Jacinta Ubiuko reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.